Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to do data cleaning. So we're gonna find and relabel the variables, we're going to identify and exclude cases that did not respond to the dependent variable. We will also exclude respondents that answered the filter question and finally I'm gonna show you how to select the valid cases. So first what we need to do is we need to have our file open and as you may recall I need to go find my file and I know it's gonna be in the desktop so I go identify my file and open it again don't panic you're gonna see an output window and you're gonna see the data window then the first thing that we need to do is go and look at the instructions so the instructions are telling me that what the manager wants to know is Q86 that's what we want to predict. That's a dependent variable, which is the probability of attending a UTEP football game in the fall. Then we are provided a set of independent variables, which are constructs we believe predict that probability. Each construct includes a set of questions. So different questions all the way, all of them about attitudes, we have different questions about familiarity, expertise, watching has only one question, and so on. So the first thing we need to do is go and identify those variables in the data set and relabel them. So we don't have to be looking at them and say, okay, so Q88, what's that? Familiarity, what is that? So we need to go find them and relabel them. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to the data set and I have to go to the variable view. In the variable view, I have to go and find the questions. So the first one is Q86, and that's a dependent variable. How do I know? Well, I can come and check, and that is the probability. How likely are you to attend a YouTube football game next season? I'm going to position the mouse over the box that I want to relabel. So I want to relabel this box. So I'm, I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to just type over it. So I'm going to go and do the DV. I'm going to do the same with the others. So Q88.1 to Q88.5, that's going to be IV like 1, which is the attitude. Attitudes, it's an overall evaluation of a subject, so it's liking whether you like it or not. So IV like 1 to IV like 5, Q88. So I'm going to go IV like 1. I be like 2, I be like 3, I be like 4, and I be like 5. As you can see, they are all questions about liking or disliking football. Then I'm going to go and say and look at the familiarity questions, which are Q94 1 and Q96 1. Here they are. So this is going to be IV fam 1 and IV fan 2. Then I'm going to go and find Q101 and that's going to be IV exp which is expertise with football. Are you an expert in football? So that's Q100 so that's going to be IV exp 1, IV exp 2, IV exp 3. Then I'm going to look for IV watch. There's only one, so no need to number them. And then I'm going to have emotional connection to UTAP. And that's going to be IV EA1. And it's going to be the 106. So this is IV EA1, IV EA2. IVEA3 and IVEA4. Then I'm going to look for gender, married, past the tent, 34, that's gender, married, past the tent is Q84. And the last one is filter, that's 1065. That's going to be filter. Why is this filter? As you can see the question is if you are reading this line leave this one blank so we know 
that respondents who answered to that question were not reading the questions. So those responses are not going to be reliable. Okay, so I have completed the first step, which is relabeling. Next, I need to identify and exclude cases that did not respond the dependent variable. If somebody didn't respond the dependent variable, there's, not to, there's nothing to predict, really. So we cannot analyze those cases. In this case, I'm going to show you um, how to exclude them. There are different techniques on what we can do with missing variables. In this case, we're just going to exclude them. So how do I do that? Well, I have to position the mouse over the number of the row. So in this case, it's row 15. If you just click on the cell, nothing's going to happen. You need to click on the number so everything lights up. Then keep pressing on the number 15 and don't release the mouse. Drag it all the way to the top so you have it right there. What that's going to do is going to move it in the data view to the first column so you don't have to be looking for the dependent variable all over the place. You just have it handy right there. Next thing is I need to find who didn't answer that question. To do that, as the instructions say, I need to sort the cases in ascending order. So I'm going to go and do data, sort cases, and I'm going to identify the variable that I'm going to use for sorting. As you can see, right now you can see the questions. That can be a little bit overwhelming. I like to see the names of the variables. So to do that, just right click on one, on any of these questions and choose display variable names. That way it's a little bit more clean, it's much cleaner, so you know what you're dealing with. So select the dependent variable and move it to, this, to, the, to the, the box on the right. You can drag it or you can click the arrow and move it. You select ascending and click OK. Now as you can see in the output it's going to pop up and it's tracking all what you're doing with the data. Don't close it, just minimize it. And then what we can see is um, that the data set is now being sorted by the dependent variable. So we can see the missing cases right here from number 1 to number 17. These people didn't answer for whatever reason. And then we can see that some people answered 1, some people answered 3, 4, and so on, all the way to 196 responses that we had. Next step is we want to exclude these cases. So what I need to do is go to the variable view select the first row and then right click and then I'm going to insert variable then what I'm going to do is I'm going to relabel this variable and I'm going to call it exclude I'm going to get rid of the decimals I don't want any decimals and I'm going to say here exclude so I know what this variable is about so I'm going to label it as exclude I'm going to move to the right where it says variable values here in the values column and I'm going to click in the dots click on the dots and then you're going to set the values so um, for the values I'm going to look at the instructions and see what those values are going to be so we say assign values of 1 equals out 0 equals in so 1 label out add zero label in add so that means that those cases that I give them a one we know they're going to be out of the analysis so we're going to exclude them so I'm going to click OK going to go back to the data view and now what I want to do here is exclude these guys 
So to exclude them, we say if we click one, it's going to be out. So I can just click all the way, or you can come and do copy, paste, and then we have the ones. How do I know if the one is out or if the one is in? That's why we label them. If you open the data set later on, we save it and you reopen it, you may not know. If, if, the, va if the dependent variable is not next to this variable, we, we may not know. Look at this uh, function right here with the value labels. I know it's out and if it's zero is in. Now I need to um, assign a zero to all these values that are going to be included in the data analysis. Um, rather than typing zero to all these cases, and you may have thousands of cases, rather than assigning the zero manually, I'm going to transform, recode into the same variables, exclude, click on all the uh, new values, and I'm going to say all those that are system or user missing, give them a zero. I'm going to add, continue, click OK, minimize this window, and then automatically all of it is relabeled to zero. Again, how do I know if zero is in or out? I can come quickly and look at all these are going to be in the analysis, all the others are going to be excluded. Save it. Now, I'm, I'm saving this file, but, but what I suggest you do is you save as. So that way, if you make a mistake, then you can open the raw data and go back and start all over again, or if you want to practice several times. So I'm going to label it here with the date, so I'm going to say April, and your last name, right, and then you can say the date here. Save it to the desktop, and that way you can play with this data set. Okay, um, now what's next? We go to the instructions. And it says, now exclude those students who answer the filter question. Same process, go to the variable view, find a filter, drag it all the way to the top, so I can see the filter right away. And I, as you can see now, what we want to do is we want to exclude all those cases that answered something. They are all over the place, all, all, all around the data set, throughout the data set, so I need to put them together. So I'm going to go and sort the cases now. And I'm going to do it now by filter. And now I want to do it in descending order. So the, val the, the, the cases with values will be on top, so I don't have to be finding them. So I click, go back. And then again, I want to exclude them. As you can see, they have not been excluded because they did answer the dependent variable, but they also answered the filter. So what I want to do now is give them a value of one in the exclude, val uh, in the exclude um, column, and now they have been excluded. I save. And those cases I'm not going to analyze. Now, how do I select cases now for the analysis, which is the last, um, the last part of this? I need to select the cases. Well, first, what I want to do is to check how many cases were excluded. So, um, go and click on the exclude label, right-click on it and then click on descriptive, descriptive statistics. You can also come over here and say analyze descri descriptive frequencies, exclude, 
but an easier way is just right click descriptives and you're gonna get um, a box and you're gonna see that we have included in the analysis 171 responses we have excluded 25 because they didn't respond to dependent variable or answered the filter question now I want to select the cases that we're just going to analyze so to exclude these other cases so I go to data all the way to the bottom to select cases and I'm gonna set a condition and I'm gonna say if exclude equals zero so if exclude equals zero get it in the analysis continue okay and now as you can see all these cases all the way to 25 they have been excluded you know because they have been crossed out and all these other cases were included to double check go to the exclude run your descriptive statistics and now you're gonna see that a hundred and 71 cases are being active for the analysis and the other cases were excluded so they will not be analyzed so that is how you do the data cleaning for this project practice okay and then move on but practice first